Elon Musk declared that the truck which doesn't look like anything else. And he was certainly right about that. It looks dystopian and post-apocalyptic, with a distinct cyberpunk flair. The Tesla automobile can revolutionize the way people drive motor vehicles, but what do we really know about the Cybertruck? Before we dive into it make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Tech Maestro and hit the bell icon for notifications alright let's start the video. 15. First ever try a motor. The flagship option when it comes to configuring your new six-seater Cybertruck is an odd, all-wheel drive, tri-motor powering it along. No other manufacturer has dared include three motors inside any EV model, although Nissan recently announced it would take a half step in the right direction with a dual motor for its next generation zero emission car based on the Leaf. However, Tesla isn't like any other brand on the market, which is emphasized given that the only other dual motor EV available is its flagship Model 3. So, what are the different versions of this futuristic pickup? And what does each of them do on paper? In its most basic form, the Cybertruck will set you back by just over 31,000 pounds. Otherwise, the all-singing all-dancing version will hit the market at a hefty 54,300 pounds. Tesla hasn't revealed the cost of the mid-level variant, but you can expect it to sit somewhere between these two. Tesla said the high-powered, tri-motor truck should enter production in late 2022, nearly a year after the single and dual-motor designs. That since changed. The pre-order site for the truck now lists tri- and dual-motor production scheduled to begin in late 2021. 14. Power. Don't let Cybertruck roar and industrialist design fool you. It has serious power under the hood. This is no ordinary pickup truck according to Musk the truck can move like a Lamborghini and tow like a Freightliner according to the specifications, put out by Tesla the Cybertruck will have an 800 horsepower engine and will be able to go from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds not to mention that the truck can also tow up to 14,000 pounds a powerful vehicle without a doubt and will provide stiff competition to other trucks out in the market, but what exactly differentiates Cybertruck from the rest? Depending on how much cash you're willing to fork out, the Cybertruck will come with either one, two, or three electric motors. The single motor truck will reach 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds and tow up to 7,500 pounds. The double motor truck will hit 60 miles per hour in only 4.5 seconds and pull up to 10,000 pounds. The triple motor version can get up to 60 miles per hour in a surprising 2.9 seconds and tow up to 14,000 pounds. In other words, the Cybertruck is perfect for hauling old mainframe computers, sports cars, cases of 1987 Cabernet, or whatever else its owners desire. 13. Rocket Stainless Steel. The Cybertruck's exterior is made of the same steel as SpaceX Starship Spaceship. Besides safety and the cool factor, this matters because you can surely expect that as Tesla finds further ways to mass produce and reduce the costs of other materials, they'll surely incorporate them. Although SpaceX and Tesla are mutually exclusive, they can mutually benefit from certain technologies and processes, especially as SpaceX doesn't file patents and Tesla's patents are public. It is, it is literally bulletproof to a 9mm handgun, Musk said on stage during the unveiling. That's how strong the skin is, it's ultra-hard, cold-rolled stainless steel alloy that we've developed. We're going to be using the same alloy in the Starship rocket and in the Cybertruck. Using the same stainless steel alloy across both Tesla and SpaceX will obviously provide some cost efficiencies, especially if the Cybertruck manages to become a high-volume production vehicle, unlikely because of its controversial design, but perhaps possible based on the economics, if Tesla can stick to the price points it revealed on 12. Interior Styling. Tesla have their own particular sense of style when it comes to indoors design, and the Cybertruck is no exception the clean dashboard and a small steering wheel coupled with the tablet interface provide the truck the trademark Tesla aesthetic at the start look the dashboard appears to be made of some form of marble, but looks can be deceiving rather it's far genuinely constituted of compressed paper now not simple as does it cut charges, however the paper made dashboard additionally maintains consistent with Tesla's commitment in the direction of sustainability. The Cybertruck's cabin is quite the opposite of what you'll expect from its loud exterior. While the seats follow the futuristic exterior design, the interior's a little tamed and has a minimalist approach. Nothing's really loud there, except for the white tabletop dashboard. For starters, the dashboard only contains the huge infotainment tablet and the unconventionally shaped steering wheel. 
The only thing loud in the interior is the lack of things that you'll normally find in a car. There are things we've noticed after watching the video, though. At launch, the Cybertruck was touted with a six-seat capacity, two rows with three seats each. On the video, however, there were only five, but it looks like the center front seat was just folded to conceal the sixth seat. We also noticed that the lack of wing mirrors has been replaced by a wide camera display, presumably located at the back of the Cybertruck. There is more to know about the Cybertruck at this point. 11. Military Exoskeleton Design. If you thought that triple the power and a huge leap towards autonomous driving was all Tesla Cybertruck had to offer, you'd be far from right. Simply looking at the sharp contours of this motor screams defiance, innovation and a brash toughness. Its similarities to a vehicle you'd see in a war zone are confirmed when you delve into its structure. Unlike most modern cars which are built using a chassis as the main frame, the punk approach to manufacturing by Tesla has meant that the Cybertruck has a tougher exoskeleton body. The Tesla Cybertruck's body is made of an ultra-hard 30x cold-rolled stainless steel. It is, it is literally bulletproof to a 9mm handgun, Elon Musk stated during the launch. Anyone who has ever got a ding on their door or mirror from some jerk in a parking lot will see the value in having this. Rather than the shell of the car being on the inside, as the strongest part of the car, the Cybertruck has it on the outside for maximum strength. The exoskeleton is made up of the following, 30x cold rolled stainless steel skin, this monochrome shell helps eliminate dents, damage and long-term corrosion. Armor glass, polymer layered composite which can absorb and redirect impact force for damage tolerance. It's not quite bulletproof, but a blow from a hammer cracked the glass but didn't put it through. 10. No range anxiety. One of the challenges of driving any Tesla vehicle is that you can only go so far before you need to recharge the battery. And unlike gas stations, which are literally everywhere, Tesla charging stations are much more sparse. In response, Tesla is doing two things. First, they're offering an optional stacked battery with the Cybertruck that can last for up to 500 miles, which is 35% longer than the Model S sedan, the Tesla with the furthest range. The standard battery pack only lasts up to 250 miles, so the stacked battery pack is key if Cybertruck owners want to make long journeys. Second, Tesla plans on expanding their network of supercharger stations into more rural areas, which will make it much easier to recharge the truck on longer trips. Cybertruck can tow up to 14,000 pounds, seat 6 people, has onboard power and compressed air, and has 3,500 pounds of payload capacity. The Cybertruck is aiming to head off its critics at the pass, although it remains to be seen how the Cybertruck's range holds up with a significant payload or while towing. This is, after all, a pickup truck. 9. Bulletproof. It's bulletproof, sort of. We've got already mentioned Tesla's new exoskeleton and the way it will be made from the same material as the Starship aircraft, so it's no surprise that the truck will be able to withstand 9mm ammunition that is commonly used in both handguns and machine guns. If you want more proof that the truck is designed to survive a dystopian, semi-anarchic future, look no further than its bulletproof exterior. The truck's exoskeleton is made from 30x cold rolled stainless steel and is designed to withstand 9mm ammunition, which is commonly used in handguns and machine guns. Musk demonstrated the strength of the exoskeleton by having designed Chief Franz von Holzhausen hit. The reality is that the truck is not totally bulletproof. While it may be able to stand up to 9mm and smaller ammunition, there are plenty of larger weapons that could punch a hole in its side. Of course, all this raises an important question, who needs a bulletproof truck? 8. Cybertruck Boat Mode. Underwater vehicles are something Musk has been vocal about in the past, especially when it comes to the idea of a submarine car. While Tesla vehicles in the past have performed impressively when confronted with deep water, no Tesla vehicle has ever taken on a body of water as large as an ocean. During the annual shareholder meeting in 2019, Musk shared Tesla's design for an all-electric submarine vehicle, much like the one from the 1977 James Bond film, The Spy Who Loved Me, recognized as Wet Nelly. Musk enjoyed the idea of an underwater vehicle so much, purchased the car, a Lotus Esprit S1, in 2013 for £550,000. After being asked by an individual shareholder if the company would ever develop and release a car that would work underwater, Musk said, you can actually have a submarine car, it's like technically possible. I think the market for this will be small. 
small but enthusiastic. It would be a bit of a distraction, but maybe we'll make one as a show car. Both when asked on Twitter if the Cybertruck could cross dreams Musk responded by saying that the truck would even be able to float on water his tweet read a Tesla works as a boat for short periods as an electric car has no intake or exhaust to block and battery motor electronics or water sealed submarines are just underwater EVS7. Self-driving autonomous. Self-driving technology will soon be autonomous. The whole range of new Tesla models is now equipped with a custom chip which gives them self-driving capabilities. These features currently reflect the ADAS, advanced driver assistant systems, found on other advanced vehicles, such as emergency braking when pedestrians are detected, and intelligent cruise control which keeps you at a safe distance from the car ahead at varying speeds. However, the manufacturer points out that spending the extra £5,800 it takes to install the full self-driving technology now will let you benefit from automatic updates to the system over time. The end goal of this is full autonomous driving vehicles. So, fasten your seatbelts, because big change is on the way. I believe that in about 20 years non-autonomous cars will be outlawed. If people like me want to drive their classic cars, they're going to have to put those vehicles on trailers, take them to tracks, and drive them there. Autonomous cars will also improve traffic flow. That could create efficiencies in road construction. 6. Mind-blowing practicality. There's a reason why the world's leading manufacturers such as Ford have followed in the footsteps of Tesla in simplifying its range. The high demand of the SUV and pickup market has led to them cutting down production of more executive models to stay in tune with making more practical models. The Cybertruck is a game changer in this respect. Just like its appearance, the statistics highlighting its practical capabilities will have you raising your eyebrows just as high. Here are a few of the key figures, just to whet your appetite, first. Can carry 3,500 pounds, 1,588 kilograms, of weight. Second. It has 2,832 liters of exterior storage in the underbed, frunk and sail pillars, all of which is lockable. Third. Towing capacity of more than 14,000 pounds, 6,350 kilograms, in its flagship model and an ability to pull infinite mass. The Cybertruck is the first Tesla vehicle that would actually work without compromising anything. It's priced right, I don't finance cars, and the advertised configurations are numbers I would be willing to write a check for. It looks like everyone would fit comfortably. The high-end model has enough range that I could go between my New Jersey and Tennessee houses with only one charging stop. 5. Built-in bed. If you're purchasing a pickup truck you'd expect it to come with a bed and Tesla doesn't it disappoint there they're called the vault, the Cybertruck bed is made of stainless steel, like the rest of the truck, and is 6.5 feet long. Unlike most pickup trucks, there are no wheel wells jutting into the bed. The side panels feature storage compartments, and the tailgate has a loading ramp that slides out, allowing things to be easily loaded into the bed. 120 volt and 220 volt chargers are built directly into the bed, along with an air compressor. If you want to secure the contents of the bed, you can. 4. No mirror. One of the strangest features of the Cybertruck may be the shortage of side mirrors, drivers must rely on a digital mirror. To say that the Cybertruck's design is bulky is a serious understatement. The large side panels in the bed make it pretty difficult for drivers to see what's behind them and in their blind spots. To get around this problem, the Cybertruck comes equipped with a digital rear view system. The rear view mirror is actually a screen, showing a live feed of what's behind the truck. The Cybertruck will end up coming equipped with side mirrors as having them is required by the law in the United States, even though the Audi e-tron has already been released in Europe with cameras, instead of side mirrors, the US still doesn't allow for that perhaps we may see a change of law to accommodate this futuristic feature. One Cybertruck Owners Club member, Regenture, said. I assume you are correct and that those are not ready for primetime test version of the mirror displays. That is where I would want them. Tesla has to be working on what those displays would look like, since they keep talking about how they want to get rid of side mirrors. I believe the NHTSA is currently examining allowing camera-based mirrors in the future, so hopefully those laws change by the time the Cybertruck is live. 3. New User Interface. While this particular model may lack in visual beauty, 
It makes up for it with the technology that brings it to the table. The Cybertruck will be equipped with a 17-inch display, a size similar to the displays found in the Model S and the Model X, and according to the company, the Cybertruck interface will be tailored specifically for truck users. Tesla hasn't elaborated yet on these specifications, but we expect it to include things like on-screen controls for autonomous trailer hitching various picker bed features, and adjustments for long travel air suspension the new updated UI design, but I don't think Tesla could bring it like that to production vehicles, though that's true of many things on the Cybertruck prototype. The fonts should probably be easier to read, and it's also unclear how it looks with both the driving visualization and the navigation. Navigation is what I have maximized on my Model 3 center screen most of the time, and I assume it's the case for most other Model 3 owners. With the Model 3 UI, you can clearly see the map and the driving visualization. It's not clear how it would look with this new Cybertruck UI. Maybe Tesla will release it just for the Cybertruck. 2. The lighting. The Cybertruck bed has a special lighting system along the inside, so you can actually see what you're doing at night. If you want this feature for any other truck, you have to buy a kit and manually install it. A prototype version of the Cybertruck being driven around post-launch also shows a strip light on the front rooftop, which could potentially be used for emergency lights. Musk also mentioned that the laser blade lights are going to be standard. When Tesla unveiled the electric pickup truck, some analysts suggested that the headlights consisting of a single stream of light might not be up to code based on US regulations. It looks like while the stream of light from the unveiling is still there, the lights are stronger at each end, making it look more like traditional headlights. Of course, Tesla's interpretation of laser lights could be different than ours, just like it was the case with Bulletproof. It's yet unclear what sort of solution will Tesla adopt for the so-called laser blade lights of its Cybertruck, but the idea itself does sound enticing. We'll come back on the topic once we find out more. 1. Cybertruck Colors. You can heat the steel body to turn any color. Worried about having to pay a ludicrous amount of cash to get the Cybertruck in the color you want? Well, Tesla CEO and design chief Elon Musk has put these fears to bed after confirming the cold rolled steel body of Beefy Ev could be heated from the outside to get some pretty cool colors. At the moment it's unclear whether this change has to be done by future Cybertruck owners who want to mod their car. However, the disruptive nature of the company's work could mean that it develop its own solution that enables the car to do it itself. Alternatively, you could just use the not a flamethrower from Musk's other venture, the boring company. This could be a disappointment for fans used to conventional color options, but Tesla has shown multiple times that it's forging a new path with the Cybertruck's design choices. A Tesla Model 3 comes with a pearl white multi coat paint as standard. Solid black, midnight silver metallic, and deep blue metallic cost $1,000 extra. Red multi coat costs $2,000 extra. Well, the price of a wrap can vary, there's a good chance that Cybertruck buyers will be spending more to change the color of their car than other Tesla buyers. But the color options are not the only ways Tesla is ditching conventions. This is a vehicle made of hardened steel, with hardened windows and a video game-like design, leading to something Musk has compared to vehicles from Blade Runner. Even down to its metallic color, it seems Tesla is communicating loud and clear that this is no ordinary vehicle. What do you think of the Cybertruck? Do you think it will revolutionize the way we travel, or will it be a bust? Let us know down in the comments, and don't forget to like this video subscribe this channel for latest updates on Tesla for more videos just like this, and you may be interested in